MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Oakland A's and the Minnesota Twins. So stepping in, Ramon Laureano. He will lead this one off today. And that misses for ball four. So it's a five pitch walk to get us started here this afternoon. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. The 1 1. Runner goes per second. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And another foul ball. Loriano on at first, nobody out. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. On to first, and they get the double play. Next up for the A's, Marcus Simeon. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. Stepping in, Luis Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And the pitch. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. Running hard. He's digging for second. And the Twins have something brewing right away. It's a leadoff double. At the plate, Jorge Polanco. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Up next for Minnesota, Miguel Sano. First opportunity for him here with the leadoff man still standing at second. Two gone now. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. The next twin up, Josh Donaldson, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Two balls and a strike. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, and in particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. The ball and two strikes. Wow, I think the heart of the system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. Their count now at two and two. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Runner at first following the error. And standing in is the DH, Mark Canna. No 
offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. The 2-2. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Into the box now. Matt Chapman hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm a base hit. At the plate now, Chris Davis. Split finger pitch that's by him for strike two. Two balls and two strikes to count to Chris Davis. The 2 2. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Chopped at the plate. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Batting it. The right fielder. So now to the plate, Stephen Piscotti. Fastball called strike. One and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. So coming to the plate, Austin Allen. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Doesn't chase after the splitter, and he works it back to a full count. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Austin Allen is sent packing for out number two in the inning. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. To third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Digging in, Mitch Garver. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Two and one to count. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. And he fouls this one off. Full count now, three and two. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Once again, a three-two. Oh, and he turns on this fastball and sends it out to deep left field. And I would say he got just about all of that one as this ball is gone, a home run. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with the resounding doink as it caromed off the foul pole for a homer. Into the box, Eddie Rosario. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. No outs, nobody on. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Line to the right side. 
Piscotti is there. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Just hung in there on that one. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Striding in for Oakland, Tony Kemp, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The 1 1. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. And it's gone as they add still another. Standing in now, Marcus Semyon. And it's one and two. Now, one and two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Uh, the struggles continue, but that happens when you're not able to locate your secondary pitches You become a one pitch pitcher. He needs to start to get those secondary pitches over really fast. Lifted in the air to center field. Buxton is right there one down. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. This is hit the other way out toward left field. On the move is Rosario. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now the A's designated hitter, Mark Canna. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. The 1-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. And it's fouled away. Again, a 1-2. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for the shortstop, Polanco. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Digging in for his second at bat, Luis Arias. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. To two balls and two strikes now. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. And there's one down now. So one away now in the Minnesota third. And that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Lifted the other way out to left center. Davis is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Here's Nelson Cruz now. 
Here now the 2-2. Hot shot to third. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring in Matt Chapman. A base hit in his first trip. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now batter. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Now the pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Rosario on the warning track. He makes the catch. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. The right fielder, Steven Piscotti. The 1-1 one, one home. Two balls, one strike. High and deep to right center. Buxton will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three putout for out number one. The third baseman. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A ball and two strikes now. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. The one two misses ball two one run two hits and one error make up the totals for the twins to this point and he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning striding in once again Austin Allen he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up yeah he's got to put that one behind him especially with runners in scoring position those punch outs will stick with you a little longer one ball and two strikes to the A's catcher late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two trying to send him packing for the second time smoke toward third and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now back to the top of the order now. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. The batter on the top. Second base. Tony Kemp. To the plate now, Tony Kemp. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Ready for another now shot back. now. Marcus Semyon. No Marcus. hits to this point. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. Here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Rosario at the track. Leaps, and he made the catch. He took one out of the stands. Santa Maria. Stepping up to the plate, Eddie Rosario. 
as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Fouled off. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he stays alive here as he gets a piece of this, and in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Three and two now. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. In now, Max Kepler. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fouled away. Full count to Max Kepler. Three balls and two strikes. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Mike Fires enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Byron Buxton will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. One run on three hits and one error make up the totals for the Twins to this point. In the dirt here. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Luis Arias, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Into center field, line drive base hit. Blake now, Jorge Polanco. Down low, two balls and a strike. His previous history with Mike Fires, he has been silent. 0 for 13. Down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home he is swung on and missed. He got him. Randy Dobnik takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 58. Randy. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Matt Olson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matt. He almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it with this guy. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. So now to the plate, Mark Canna. And he fouls this one off. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So one gone for the A's in their half of the sixth. And up next, the power hitting third baseman, Matt Chapman. 
hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. Going back is the right fielder. Gone! Into the box now, Chris Davis. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Steven Piscotti, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Count remains full. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Now batting the right fielder, Stephen. Standing in now, Stephen Piscotti. Popped him up. Garver over to his right makes the play and there are two gone now stepping in Austin Allen he's okay. 0 for 2 in the ball game so far two out with the man at first outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now all even now two and two hit in the air down the left field line and that will end up a foul ball and it's fouled away so a full count now good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion he could score all the way from first Here's a pop-up now. Kepler is calling for it, and the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Ready once again, Nelson Cruz. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The number four Minnesota hitter, Miguel Sano. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Josh Donaldson digging in now. The 0 for 2 for him to this point. We're in the sixth inning now of a 5 to 1 ball game. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. The 2 2. Three and two. Liner toward right center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. Now that the catcher, Mitch. Stepping in now, Mitch Garver. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Homer Bailey is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 15. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. It was a single for him in his last at bat. And the 2 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is there and he has it for the first out. 
so striding forward now Tony Kemp he's working on a one for three thus far the two one home and this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play so the count goes to two and two now now here it comes the short hit hard he's got it throw in time at first for route number two. So two are gone now in the Oakland half of the seventh. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. The 1 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Seventh inning here in a 5 to 1 ball game. Heading out towards shallow right. And Cruz will put this one away to retire the side. For the traditional seventh inning stretch. Yusmero Petit is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Ready now, Eddie Rosario. He singled his last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Striding into the box, Max Kepler, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. One, one. one out, nobody on. Fouled off. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Again, he sends it out of play. The one-two. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. A leap, but it's off his glove. But that'll be off the right field wall. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Up next for Minnesota. For center fielder. Five red. At the plate, Byron Buxton lifted down the line in left. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. The one two ground ball sent back up the middle oh, and he has some trouble with it and the runner from third scores as they try to work their way back into this one. In now Luis Arias strike taken the throw and skips in and he's safe close play but he's in there. The one two. Count remains two and two. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Joaquin Soria takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw gets him, two down. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now. Nelson Cruz, but a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. The 3 1. Two out here and a runner at second. Fouled away. Another payoff pitch. And 
and that misses ball four so it's first and second now with two out here's Miguel Sano two men are on with two men out and he fouls this one off swung on and he went fishing in the dirt and the throw to first ends the inning. Corey Garrett has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 38. Corey. Ready to begin the eighth. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Matt Olson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Guerin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Buxton is underneath this one, and he's got it for the first out. So now it's now Mark Canna. It. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And it's fouled away. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Now the three and two pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Another full count pitch home. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Connie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Two out, nobody on. Still even at two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Fouled off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Popped up. Polanco over to his left. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Jake Diekman is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 35. Leading off the inning, Josh Donaldson. And they'll need him to get something going here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Now in the box, Mitch Garver. One one home takes a pass and misses that strike two borderline pitch right there but as a low ball hitter you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well swung on in the dirt for the third strike and he makes the throw to first Garver is retired two Don't down you, now number 20. settling Eddie. in now Eddie Rosario first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better and that's taken up and in for ball two and he 
hits the corner with that one. Two and two. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get... Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Tyler Clipper enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. New inning set to get underway. Digging in and looking for more. Chris Davis. Last time through was a base hit. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is right there, one down. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hit down the third baseline. And there's his first base hit in this one. Up next row, the pecker, Austin. Into the box Allen. now, Austin Allen. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Popped him up. Donaldson has room in foul territory. Two gone. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate. Ramon Laureano. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the 2 1 is strike two swinging. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes. He kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, man. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Garver has it, and that ends the inning. You're Liam Hendricks please. takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 15, Liam. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. So striding in, Max Kepler. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. Now the one and one pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Got him swinging in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Here's Byron Buxton now. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the 2 1 pitch. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And a wise decision there to make sure this ball stays foul, and that's the second strike. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now with the plate, Luis Arias. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Final strike for the Twins. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So now to the plate for Hippolanco. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. 
Throw on to first will be in time to take care of him. And the A's have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. The Oakland A's took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Mike Fires claims the win out of the pen his first. Liam Hendricks hammers down the save his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Athletics, five runs on nine hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Twins, four runs on nine hits, one error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 18 minutes. Our paid attendance at Target Field this afternoon, 38,649. The Twins thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely.